Okay, so, so we're here, we're doing this West Point Bridge Designer. So the idea here is that, one, we're recording a video, so it's nice to have as much quiet as possible, which is true for all videos, that when you record them. Um, so, so we're going to be building a balsa wood bridge, okay? And we're going to be testing that balsa wood bridge with an, it's an actual bridge, build, we're going to be testing with an actual weight, right? We're going to apply a force to it. However, even though we've done trusses and we've solved trusses, there's a long way between solving trusses and getting an idea about how a truss is going to react. And this is true in a lot of different places. So in math, you can follow through like a, you know, a concept in math and solve a, a, an individual situation, but they call it intuition. You develop intuition about the way that math problems are going to get solved in real, in any given situation. And that gives you an idea of how to apply your, your actual knowledge, right? So the idea here is that although you can solve trusses, you may not be able to take, a, take that knowledge and go, well, this is how a bridge should be organized, right? How the trust on a bridge should be organized. So we're going to be using this software for you guys to get some practice in making different trusses and kind of seeing how they react when a force is applied to them. So that's the idea. Now this software is, is built to do a competition. There's this West Point bridge designer competition every year. So a new version comes out every year. So I'm going to go ahead and demo this. So this is what it looks like when it comes up. On Windows 8, you would click the icon at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and then search on bridge. On Windows 7, just click the start button and search, just type in bridge. You'll see West Point Bridge Designer 2014. There are three links in the start menu. One is uninstall, one is for slow computers, and one is just the regular one. You want to use the regular one. Okay. All right, so we're going to click, we're going to keep create new bridge design checked, and we're going to click OK. All right, so this just kind of gives us the overview. Notice that it's 44 meters by 24 meters, and the slope of the sides of the canyon are 2 to 1, right? Rise of 2, run of 1. Okay, so local contest, we're gonna, just going to keep no checked. We're going to click Next. <clears throat> okay, so you have a lot of choices here. So what we're competing in is this cost okay so the idea here is that you want to make the cost as low as possible all right so this site cost that you're doing while you're doing the wizard the wizard is just a multi-step process right in a software program so while you're doing this wizard there are a couple things that you cannot do differently okay so you cannot change the el deck elevation we're all going to keep our deck elevation at 24 meters all right, but notice if we go to zero meters, that's like the cost of removing all of this material, right? Okay. We all have to keep our deck elevation at 24 meters just to keep it kind of interesting. All right. Um, also, we're going to keep um, standard abutments. Okay. We're also going to keep no pier. All right, because we t if we make a pier, if you notice this, like if we make a pier, that's going to be very different than what we're going to be doing in our when we build these balsa wood bridges because there's not going to be a pier, right? Okay. So we're going to do no pier. You can add cable anchorages if you want. Okay, and notice those are just spaces outside the thing. You can add one or two cable anchorages. They don't add any cost. They just add a kind of a, an additional way for to anchor the thing to the, to the site, right? Okay, so next thing, you can choose medium strength or high strength concrete. It's up to you. Okay, slight difference in cost. You do need to keep the standard 225 kilonewton truck. Okay, so for our, our competition, keep the, keep the truck the same. Okay, and then basically we're not going to select a template at all. Do not select a template. Keep that as none. Okay, at this point you can click finish. Uh, you could put design by if you want. You can go ahead and click finish though if you want. Okay, so now we're in the program. So let's take a look at how do we design the initial bridge and then how do we improve it. So we have our tools here. Basically, these are joints and members and then the selection tool. So let's take a look, a look quickly, just really quickly, at how we could do this. Okay, so the joints, see how we have like a, uh, a kind of our crosshairs. We can kind of see where we're putting the joints. Okay, so I can kind of move across here. Then with the members, I can move across multiple joints if it's in a straight line. Okay. And then I can draw individual members like this as well, okay? Okay, now I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, all right? Because I'm not doing any, any like, anything. This is just me drawing in members, right? 
Okay. So just to get something to work with here on our demo, which is short for demonstration, obviously. So, <clears throat> okay, so we have, our, we have our initial truss kind of built here. So now it's time to test it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go test, and we're going to click on load test. And it did not work, okay? So the bridge failed prior to even getting loaded by the truck. All right? Okay, so now what do we so what do we get once we do this load test? Well, what we get is a detailed report on each member, right? So like this is member five. See when I click on it, it shows me on the right-hand side the member list, okay? So it shows me the compression forces are in red. Okay, notice that, um, notice that seven is in blue, right? That's the one that's selected. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I can, I can, now I'm in the selection tool, I can click and drag to select many members at a time. And notice up here I can, I can change the type of material. Okay, so let's say I make it high strength, a solid bar, and I make it just super, super thick. Now notice my cost is now over half a million dollars, so $553,000, right? Okay, so that's obviously not very cost effective. Okay, we can click this button right here, this little blue truck, to test it. Okay, so a little bit better, right? But it's now it's basically transferred this other, this other, uh, the forces elsewhere, right? So now we look at the bottom. If you look at the blue portion right here, that is in tension. Red is in compression. Okay, so you'll notice that members can hold a lot more in tension usually than in compression. All right, so now I can click, control click to select two additional members. Let's say that I make these much, much larger and I make them a different type of steel. Let's make, say I make them really very thick. Let's say I make them a hollow tube instead. That'll reduce costs. And we go ahead and try it again. Yes. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, so this is, you can see that the thing. Okay, now for demonstration purposes, let's just go ahead and make it just very, very, very strong. Okay? So just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So it's going to work, right? But the cost is super, super, super high. We would go broke building these bridges, right? Okay. So now that we've done this, um, we're going to go ahead. So we have tested it. It's tested successfully. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other things we can get out of this. So if we select a member, you can get the details of the forces that we have on it. You can also go to the member details. In the member details, it tells you exactly how much each member costs. So this, this little number eight right here costs $25,120 because it's a lot of metal, right? So... Okay, guys. Now the the last couple things we're going to show here is you can do a lot, a couple of reports that you're going to need to have for the assignment. Okay, so this is how you get your cost calculation. So if I just click on this calculator here, that gives this gives us the cost calculation. Uh, I can also click on this button right here, show the table of load test results. Okay, so and I can copy these to the clipboard, and then I can actually paste them somewhere else. If I wanted to paste it somewhere else, I can copy to the clipboard. Um, I can also access these under report at the top, so cost calculations and load test results. So those are the stuff. So basically it's an iterative process. Um, you're going to compete. So basically in the assignment, what we're going to do, if you're just using the software, great. Just try to get the cost as low as possible. If uh, you're doing the assignment, which we are today, uh, basically you're going to need to create on your portfolio website you're going to need to document this the assignment has details on what you need to include in the portfolio web page um, and then you're also going to fill in a google uh, form that that's the actual competition so that's where you're going to put in your name and the amount that it costs so we can get a clear winner all right okay guys good luck <laughs>